Hi crafters, this is Crafty Savvy and I'm here today to share some things I found at the thrift store. So this is kind of a, an accumulation of maybe a couple of trips and because I was away for some time I never got around to showing you guys but I thought I would just show you everything together. So like I said this is probably a couple of trips but I just wanted to show you some of the beautiful fabrics that I got. So it's not a very big haul but I just uh I thought you might like to see uh, some of the things that I found. So I'll show you those in a minute. Um, so uh, in one of the thrift stores that I go to, on the one wall that they have, they have all little uh, bags of stuff that they put together. I picked up one of these bags and it had a couple of stamps inside. I'm gonna do my best to show you uh, what they are, but uh, so uh, I couldn't really see through the bag very well when I, first saw these stamps but I was kind of pleasantly surprised when I got them home and kind of stamped them onto a piece of paper. Uh, so unfortunately one of them, this one here, someone ripped the uh, label off and there's no information on it other than it was $13.50. Um, but I'm going to assume that it came with this, this one because it is basically the same sort of stamp so I don't know how well you can see it but this stamp and it's used so well used I must say looks like this and uh, what it is is like an artist trading it's a trading card artist trading card isn't it pretty though I loved it. I thought it would, would be nice to stamp things, tags, and just to actually make cards with it. So I was kind of pleased. I forget how much I paid. I think they were two bucks for the both of them. And then this one is super cute. Artist trading card, it says. Title, artist info, date, and edition. And again, very well used. It's got glue on it and stuff. But this one says... Cat's Life Press. So it's pretty safe to assume that this one is from the same uh, company here. So Cat's, if anybody's interested, Cat's Life Press. And also very well used, this stamp. And um, that's what it looks like stamped. So I'm excited about these, about using them in my journal. So, so like I said, two bucks. So it's worth um, when you go to your thrift stores to look for crafting supplies and things because you can get, well, I mean, look at that, a $13.50 for one of them. I mean, you know, for $2, I wasn't going to leave them there. And <laughs> so uh, then the same day I found those stamps, I found this material. So I paid... Um, $3.99 for it and just look at this you guys look at the colors it's from a sari probably but look at that's gold I don't know how well you can see it but look at the colors I've never seen any things so colorful and bright and I love the green it's just, I don't know, it'll be a hard time hacking into that one. But, isn't it beautiful? I fell in love with it as soon as I saw it. And especially because of these beautiful rainbow colors. Oh, it's just gorgeous. So, I wanted to share that one with you. And then that same day, I found these... Um, this was 99 cents, and so was this. So, uh, I don't know if I've ever said it before, but pink is not particularly my favorite color. Uh, but somehow, I was in a pink mood that day, and uh, I just kind of ended up finding things that had a lot of pink in it, but it's quite a nice piece of uh, material. It's really cute. I guess, I don't know if it's like a hanky or, but this side has a little, dangle on it so I thought for 99 cents it had to go into my cart 
And then I also got this one. This one's far more delicate and pretty and smaller too. Look how pretty. And it's a light pink. So that was 99 cents. And those were like thrown in a bin. So I just happened to find find those. And then I got this. How much was this? I don't know. Probably 99. Oh no, here. I see it. Yep, yeah, 99 99 cents. <laughs> and it's just a like a dish linen dish uh, cloth, a decorative one, but so pretty. I love that fabric piecing. So nice. Whenever I did get a chance to sit down and do nothing, yeah, right? Uh, I was starting, I'm starting to get back into cross-stitching. Uh, I used to cross-stitch quite a bit. But I used to do like portrait size um, pieces, so that used to be quite time con consuming. But uh, a friend of mine is having a baby and I started working on something for her. In case she watches this video, I don't want to say too much. <laughs> but so yeah, uh, I've been kind of at night, uh, if I had like an hour or so, I would, I'll sit down and, and sew that. And then this is like one of my complete favorites. Uh, I've never seen anything like this, and I don't know if this is actually from a sari or clothing for that matter, but anyways, let me show you how pretty. So that's like the trim, and then it's got these pieces of mirror on it. Isn't that cool? And also again with the colors. And look at the fabric, look at that. So pretty, and there's a lot too. There's a lot of fabric here. I paid $2.99 for this whole thing, and it's quite large. So same with the other one, it's it's big also. So that one was probably uh, not the same time I found these pink ones, but yeah. So the probably the next three I'm going to show you are from a previous time. So there's that one, and then. I found this massive piece. Look, look at it. There's tons. This one cost me a lot. This was $7.99, but I couldn't pass it up because all I could picture myself doing in the store was cutting out these uh, pieces. Look at, like all sewn little appliques. And I thought I could probably cut them out and they can be used for different things. And it's just a giant piece, <laughs> but I loved it. I, I, I had to have it, so. But that one, like I said, was $7.99. That's okay. And then look at this one. Yellow. Um, again, not sure if this is, uh, it's probably just a piece of fabric. Although it has been stitched, so maybe someone uh, did have it as part of their uh, sari. But look, this is this was three ninety nine, and it's a whole lot of material again. But again, look at the beautiful colors: purple and orange. Uh, all the sequins, like so much work goes into it. But isn't it beautiful? That's, I think, uh, about it for my thrift store hauls. Uh, just recently, I got this in the mail. You guys are probably, I don't know, oh well, my Canadian friends might have seen this before, but I ordered this from Simon Says, Simon Says Stamp, I think, and it's isn't it cute? It's Canada paper and it's a package. Uh, you get uh, all those um, pieces of paper and then there's a sticker sheet. For all my Canadian friends, 
Isn't this just adorable? I had to have it. And then there's like stickers on the back. <laughs> so I'll be playing around with that, seeing if I can make a, an album. And I think that's it for anything that I have <laughs> accumulated from the thrift store. So, uh, so that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed looking at these beautiful fabrics with me. And I will be back shortly with another video, uh, probably a journal share. So hope you guys are all well, and we'll talk to you real soon. Take care, you guys. Bye.